Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Sizer School Senior Community Meeting. My name is Allison Cordio, performing arts teacher here at Sizer. In a time of many firsts, we are bringing you our community meeting virtually. We ask your patience as we transition from our normal Sizer roles to virtual production crew. Without further ado, let's welcome Mrs. Corallo to the screen to announce some of our scholarships. Hi everyone. Um, I just wanna start off by saying congratulations to many of our seniors um, who receive scholarships at their colleges of choice and in their hometowns as well. I'm just gonna be reading a few of them um, as far as our local scholarships. The first scholarship that we have is um, Fitchburg Rotary Club Student of the Month of May, and that scholarship recipient was Noah Colbert. Um, the second scholarship, one of four special scholarships that Sizer now offers, um, thanks to very generous donors. The first one is the John K. Grady Craftsman Craftswoman Scholarship, and that recipient is Donnie Crowley. The next is the Not Your Average Scholarship, and that recipient is Benjamin Mulrennan. The next is Health Sciences Scholarship, somebody going into the health sciences field, and that recipient is Angie Welch. The next scholarship is the Sizer 6 Scholarship, somebody who exemplifies the Sizer 6, and that recipient is Claire Scobie. Thank you, Ms. Corallo and congratulations to scholarship recipients. Next, senior Nora Savage would like to share a song with you. Hi, I will be singing You've Got a Friend by Carol King. Again. 
winter, spring, summer or fall All you have to do is call And I'll be there Now ain't it good to know that you've got a friend When people can be so cold They'll hurt you, yes, and desert you And take your soul if you let them Oh, but don't you let them You just call out my name And you know wherever I am spring, summer, or fall. All you have to do is call and I'll be there. You've got a friend. Thank you. Thank you, Nora. Next, we would like to welcome Ms. Corallo and Mr. Randall back to the screen to announce recipients of some of our awards. I will start with uh, our Melanie Gallo Book Awards. These go out to two students, one eighth grade student and one senior. Congratulations to eighth grader Annabelle McCalla and senior Noah Colbert for the Gallo Book Awards. The next um, award that I'd like to announce goes to a student, a junior student who's received our Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute RPI medal. Um, if the student chooses to go to RPI and gets accepted, this is a $120,000 scholarship. And that award, the RPI medal goes to Noah Shagman. Next, I would just like to acknowledge Claire Scobie and Claire Peterson for receiving the Telegram and Gazette Student Achievement Awards. And I'll turn it over to Mr. Randall. Thank you, Ms. Corello and Ms. Corio. Wonderful job, Nora, on that beautiful song. It's my pleasure to announce this year's Principal Award. The Principal Award is like an unsung hero award. It's given to student who demonstrates uh, and models our Think Care Act values, both in the Sizer community and outside to the larger community. This year's winner does so with great positive impact and humility. This year's winner of the Principal's Award is Christopher Zanni. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Ms. Corallo and Mr. Randall. Congratulations, folks. It's so great to see your hard work recognized. Here at Sizer, we often push you to step outside of your comfort zone. And our staff did just that, to share their good wishes with the seniors. Enjoy. All right, so here goes. If you can get any of this and keep it, God bless you. Twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes, five hundred twenty-five thousand moments so deep. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred minutes. How do you measure measure a year in friendships? In homework, in Snapchat, in Duncan's coffee, in TikToks, in memes, and learning to drive. In 525,600 minutes, do you measure a year in life? How about Measuring love 
Thank you. At this time, I would like to mention that we are recording this community meeting. And so if you're having some uh, trouble with any of the internet issues, if you're having any internet issues, we will be sharing the link to be able to watch it again soon. And now, the time you've been waiting for, please enjoy our virtual courting. Angel Baroa will be attending Becker College with an undecided major but plan to pursue education. Bryn Breen will be attending Fitchburg State University. Juan Castro. Noah Colbert will be attending Northeastern University studying mathematics. Audrey Cox will be entering the workforce. Donnie Crowley will be attending WPI and studying civil engineering. Toby G. McCallie will be attending Salem State University, majoring in psychology. Zoe Emery will be attending Fitchburg State University and studying psychology. Keith Grace is undecided, but plans to attend Mount Wachusett Community College and major in education. W. Grealish will be attending culinary school. Nicholas Griffith will be attending Montserrat College of Art with a fine arts major. Gus Guzmeo will be attending the United States Navy. Danielle Hendricks will be attending Fitchburg State University studying graphic design. Zachary Hofschmidt will be taking a gap year before attending college. Devin Iorio. Samantha Jean will be attending Mount Wachusett Community College and studying criminal justice. Kenny Joseph will be attending Mount Wachusett Community College. Donna Khan will be attending Anna Maria College and studying psychology. Liam Lane will be attending the welding program at Monty Tech and then pursuing art school. Kathleen McAndrew will be attending Quinsingamon Community College, General Studies, Deaf Studies Option major. Emma McAvoy will be attending Endicott College with a major in psychology. Joshua Melendi will be attending Mount Wachusett Community College. Dana Mikazuski will be attending Mount Wachusett Community College. Haley Miller will be attending Southern New Hampshire University and studying psychology. Joanne Muldoon will be attending Western New England University with an undeclared business major. Benjamin Mulrennan will be attending Fitchburg State University with an interdisciplinary studies with a concentration of studio arts and theater major. Kellyanne Murphy will be, attend will be uh, going into the workforce, sorry. Mm -hmm. Meredith O'Leary will be taking a gap year before attending college. Aiden Olette will be attending Fitchburg State University with engineering technology in an architecture concentration. Claire Peterson will be attending University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth with an undeclared major. Oh, I'm sorry, undeclared engineering. Anna Paterosi will be attending the University of Vermont with an animal science major on a pre-veterinary track. Gabriella Piro will be attending Alexander Academy and studying cosmetology. Timothy Primo will work full-time next year before attending Mount Wachusett Community College. Nancy Ralston will be attending Pace University. Sebastian Rodriguez will be attending Alfred University. Axel Sanchez will be entering the workforce. Nora Savage will be attending Nazareth College with a major in Education and Theater Arts. Claire Scobie will be attending Nova Southeastern University and studying Marine Biology. Caleb Stratford will be attending Mount Wachusett Community College and pursuing library science. Grace Vartanian will be attending Endicott College. Angelina Welch will be attending University of Massachusetts at Boston and majoring in nursing. Taylor Willis will be attending Salem State University with a major in theater performance.
AJ Vasquez will be entering the workforce for a year before attending art school. Christopher Zanni will be attending Southern New Hampshire University and studying biology. Congratulations, seniors. Your future looks bright. And now, a song from seniors Taylor Willis and Nancy Ralston. <laughs> I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are lent to those who help us most to grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true But I know I'm who I am today Because I knew you Like a comet pulled from orbit As it passes a sun Like a stream that meets a boulder Thank you, ladies. That was beautiful. 
Next, we would like to have 2019 graduate and Think Care Act medal recipient, Sam Scobie, to join us on the screen to share a little bit about this year's recipient. Good evening. I'm Sam Scobie. I graduated last year and was the 2019 TCA medal recipient. As the highest honor that Sizer awards, a graduating senior is selected annually as the student that has gone above and beyond to exemplify the Sizer School Think Care Act mission continuously throughout their time at Sizer. It is my honor tonight to present this award to this year's recipient. Despite being a prominent member of the Sizer Athletics community for years, this year's Think Care Act Award honoree often flies under the radar. They have been a captain on the Sizer soccer team since their sophomore year and a Sizer basketball team leader through high school. I've watched them support and train their teammates in soccer and basketball with care and compassion. They set an example for the younger players on the team and put great effort into serving as both a positive role model and mentor. This individual has demonstrated care for their family in a way that embodies Sizer qualities as well. Outside of school, the student also has an intense passion for the care and well being of animals. After high school, this graduate will continue their commitment to this passion by studying animal science in college. I have no doubt that this student will carry out Sizer School's mission for years to come. I look forward to seeing where they will go in the future. Tonight, it is my honor to present the 2020 Think Care Act Award to Anna Pedrosi. Congratulations. Congratulations, Anna. Go forth and bring Think Care Act into the world. Let's welcome Mr. Randall to the screen for some remarks. Congratulations to all award winners and, and to the entire class for uh, this uh, incredible courting ceremony. I want to first also thank all of the members of the community meeting committee for all the hard work and planning uh, this wonderful and important tribute to our most deserving senior class. This is a long standing Sizer School tradition and one that has great meaning. And there was no way we were going to allow us not to take place um, this year. So much has happened this year that has been extraordinary. Um, we all recognize how hard this time has been on seniors in particular, in addition to the rest of society. But the good news that I wanna share is that you have adapted and overcome all the challenges that have been thrown your way. I can't think of another senior class that has had to demonstrate such grit and determination in my recent memory. But these moments and this time do not define you. What define you is all of the hard work you've done over the course of your time here at Sizer School, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. You've left a permanent and positive mark on Sizer, and we know that you will do so in the world, and the world desperately needs you. We thank you for all of the positive memories, all of your accomplishments, and everything that you helped create here. It's been an honor and a privilege to be your principal, and I know that I speak on behalf of the entire community when we say thank you, and we wish you all the best in moving forward. Thank you again, and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Randall. And to end our first virtual community meeting and to send our seniors off, we have one final message from the Sizer White Tiger. Thank you for at all attending tonight. Congratulations, seniors. Your future abounds with opportunity. Don't let it pass you by.
Hello, Sizer. For those who don't know me, my name is Ben Mulredden, class of 2020. So, we're at the end. Hooray! However, um, the finish line is a bit different than uh, what it usually is, but that's not going to stop us. This is only temporary, not permanent. And I believe the future is in good hands. I wish to give a shout out to all of my classmates, though some of us may never see each other again. We all made precious memories here at Sizer, and we will cherish them greatly. I also want to give a shout out to uh, all the teachers that helped us grow, overcome obstacles, so on and so forth. I leave now by saying to the class of 2021, it is now your turn to lead.